Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comment section below. Alan Ladd was a popular American actor and producer during the 1940s and 1950s. Ladd's portrayal of the rugged, stoic hero in these films helped to establish him as a leading man in Hollywood. He won a Golden Globe Award for his performance in Shane and received an Academy Award nomination for his role in The Badlanders. Ladd struggled with alcoholism throughout his career, and he died of an accidental overdose in 1964 at the age of 50. Howard Hesseman is an American actor, best known for his role as DJ Dr. Johnny Fever on the television series WKRP in Cincinnati, which aired from 1978 to 1982. He also had a recurring role as Charlie Moore on the series One Day at a Time, and has made guest appearances on many other television shows. At the age of 81, Hesseman died from complications after colorectal surgery in Los Angeles, California. Jimmy Durante was a popular American actor, singer, and comedian. He began his career as a vaudeville performer in the 1920s and went on to become a successful stage and film actor, as well as a regular on radio and television. He was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 1984 and received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. He passed away in 1980. A British actress and writer, Josephine Mary Kendall was well known for her role in the BBC radio comedy show I'm Sorry, I'll Read That Again, which premiered in 1964, as well as the role of Peggy Skilbeck on Emmerdale from 1972 to 1973, where she also spoke the series' first line of dialogue. At the age of 81, she passed away on January 29, 2022. John LaMotta was an American actor. LaMotta became best known for the role of Trevor Okmonek in the television series ALF. He played the often intrusive and insensitive husband of nosy neighbor Raquel Okmonek. In an interview, he later described the series as the worst thing I ever did. Leif Erikson was an American actor, best known for his roles in Western films and television shows. He was born in Alameda, California in 1911 and began his acting career in the late 1930s. His first films were two band films with Betty Grable in 1933, followed by westerns based on Zane Grey novels with Buster Crabbe. Erickson passed away of cancer in 1986 at the age of 74. Louis Jean Height was an American actor who appeared in more than 200 films and television shows during his career. Height was also known for his stage work, appearing in several productions on Broadway. His death occurred on January 29, 1960, after he collapsed after leaving the stage after the opening scene of a pre-Broadway performance of There Was a Little Girl, in which he starred opposite Jane Fonda. As an actor, Michael Gwynn attended Mayfield College, near Mayfield, Sussex. During World War II, he served in East Africa as a major and adjutant to the 2nd Battalion of the King's African Rifles. On January 29, 1976, Gwynne died in London at the age of 59 from a heart attack. He had just finished filming Spawn for London Weekend Television earlier that day. Known by his stage name Nick Cravat, Nicholas Kucha was an American stunt performer. Cravat met Burt Lancaster at a summer camp in New York as a child and became lifelong friends with him. In the early 1930s, Lang and Cravat created an acrobatic act called Lang and Cravat and joined the K Brothers Circus in Florida. Cravat died in 1994 of lung cancer in Woodland Hills, California.